Hi everybody, this is Sheila Aliens. So I'm gonna show you guys today how you can do your own scrape of Rotten Tomatoes movie reviews. So you can kind of analyze the reviews and see what kind of patterns you find or just alphabetize it and see how repetitive it is. And you can do this on any movie that you want on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm sure it works on IMDB too. For this demonstration, I used Chrome browser with the extension called Instant Data Scraper. It has like a red and white pokeball and I will link to that in the description below. So you're going to go to the URL of the movie reviews that you want to scrape. So I'm pretty effing bored with The Rise of Skywalker, so let's scrape something else. I don't know what, which one. Um, Jumanji. Let's see. So you're gonna go to the page where the reviews are, and you're gonna push the Pokeball for Instant Data Scraper. It should just automatically look fine. One thing it's not gonna save, however, is the star rating that was given, whether it's a 3.5 or a 0.5 half star. This one will not save that. I don't know exactly how to do that for free. I have a program called Scrape Storm that will do that for a price. But, um, and there's some way to do that with this script that I don't know how to do. I'm not smart like that. But this has basic information, the user profile link, if there is one connected, as well as their name, when the review was given roughly their review as well as if they are verified or not as having purchased tickets to the movie so that's the information you can get you're going to locate the next button push locate the next button you're going to click on the next button then you're going to go back to the window here it is so you found the next button cool you're going to push start crawling and you can see as it's doing its thing up there don't exit this page just stay on if you have to just minimize it while it does this but you need to check back in on it because if you have a bad connection or a slow computer it will stop crawling and then if that happens don't do anything to the page just push start crawling and it'll pick up where it left off sometimes you have to do that sometimes you don't on a different computer, I had to do that quite a bit, but not on my, my iMac handles it just fine. And right here it says rows collected. That is the number of reviews collected so far. So we're at 400 right now. And it just depends how long you want to leave it running and how far back it lets you go. I was able to go back oh, more than a week on the Rise of Skywalker the other day. So that, I mean, it probably could have gone on forever. I don't know. So this is Jumanji. Let's collect 2,000 reviews for now. Check that out. So you download in whichever format you prefer. I chose XLSX and then I open it in Google Docs. First thing I like to do is this. This is the column with the reviews. I go format, clip, don't ask why. That's just what I do. And then sort the sheet from A to Z. You know, unfortunately you can't analyze them based on their star rating, which is a whole nother way to look at it. So these are the reviews for Jumanji. Let's see. I don't know. You guys think these look fake? That's up to you. Well, it was funny and entertaining and adventurous. Right? I just don't think everybody talks the same way. I don't think all these people, and people in general, don't all have the same voice. They don't all type the same way. They don't all talk the same way. They don't all use the same words. People are people. They're different. They vary. This literally sounds like it was written all by the same person, and that person didn't necessarily have to even see the movie to leave these type of comments. These are very generic. The type of comment you would leave if you had not seen the movie. Great family movie, space exclamation point. Great family movie, space exclamation point. You'll notice the spaces in weird places sometimes, or spaces before a comma and then a space after that. I think that's the bot's text field messing up. So the verified reviews are kind of what matters nowadays since Rotten Tomatoes changed their whole system where it used to just be user reviews and critic reviews. Now it's critics and audience, but, but for the audience score, they display verified ratings. They display that number. You have to click here to even find all audience, which includes audience members who did not verify their purchase or whatever. And a lot of people say, well, it's impossible to fake verifying the fact that they bought a ticket. 
you're just taking their word that it's even verified. The only ticket distributor that Rotten Tomatoes accepts to be verified is Fandango, and that is their parent company. Fandango owns Rotten Tomatoes. All they have to do is put the word verify on the screen. You know, we're just trusting them. We don't see proof that it was verified. So really, it's all in their hands, and I guess they can just audit themselves. Right? Right. I don't know who's behind all of this. Maybe it's a mixture of people with bots fucking around and people who were paid to make the movie have a good appearance and have a good rating. Not people, but more like a company because you're not going to have a real person for every one of those reviews. It's too messy. You just have a, a bot system set up. And I can verify that those do exist. People make things like that. Do some research if you think otherwise. Now, I did a scrape of fight club the other day for the fun of it i'm just curious what's going on with any movie and its reviews so this movie i only scraped a few hundred or something like that and i immediately came across completely copied and pasted reviews for the fight club different users different names left on different dates different months same review I think the reason for that is that they make these fake accounts so that they can review current day movies, but they need to build a history on that profile so they will have them leave comments and stuff on random movies or whatever. And obviously they're using the same system, the same scripts, the same exact reviews. And a lot of them can apply to any movie. That's why they are generic. That way they don't have to worry what movie it's being said to. But hey, that's just a theory. So I hope you learned today how to scrape just a simple surface scraping of movie reviews. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. I mean, I'm having people on Twitter who are so dumb. Oh my God, there's this one troll of a guy. He says he doesn't trust my data that I scraped. He also refuses to scrape his own. And he's just absolutely ridiculous. If you don't want to believe it, don't, you don't have to believe it, but don't be stupid. You can do your own research. This isn't impossible to do. You should be interested to prove yourself right or wrong. But no. Trolls are trolls. Any hoot. But I think Jumanji has fake ones as well. It's crazy. Fuck Rotten Tomatoes. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching.